Okay, so in this interview, we're talking to Leandy Smith, who's a wildlife game ranger here at Scotia Reserve. Tell us a bit more about that industry. So, start off with, what do you think your typical day as a game ranger involves? A uh, typical day would be uh, wake up at the crack of dawn, uh, go for an early morning drive, uh, see what you can find, and then we uh, get the vehicles ready, uh, we'll check some fences, uh, maintain some roads, and then get ready for afternoon drive again and see what we can find in the afternoon to show the tourists. So a big part of your job is not only the wildlife but being the sort of the customer face, the client face with the tourists on the reserve. Yeah, that's right. We have to, uh, it's basically not just a, a ranger or an educator, it's uh, being a host. Um, anything from, uh, you can call it preparing the, the reserve, um, not so much particularly the animals but uh, maintaining the roads and, and the reserve as such and uh, making it presentable for the, for the guests. And on a normal day, what would be the best part of your work? Best part is uh, being with the animals. Uh, it's uh, very rewarding um, watching them grow up, um, see how they interact, uh, get some social behaviour. Um, yeah, definitely being out, out in, in Africa. Of course, sort of like, that's really the only, you only get to see that if you're out here living on the reserve every day, seeing how they change and how this reserve evolves. But in terms of the other side of the coin, what would be the worst parts of your job? Uh, when tragedy strikes, um, when uh, your rhinos get poached, um, animals get caught in fires, um, basically when, when things go wrong, um, something unforeseen um, that you, ca you can't really uh, prevent you just it's uh, crisis management um, when I talked to Justin just now he mentioned that um, one of his criteria when choosing game rangers is their people skills you know you've told me many times you're an animal person not a person person where do you think that balance plays uh, you definitely need to to learn the balance obviously you need to be an animal person you have to be passionate about your job um, but Working with people every day, um, you need to be able to relate to them, you need to assess the situation, see what the people like, what they don't like, um, and you adapt to every situation. Every day is, is something different. Now, at, at campus, a lot of our motivation to get involved in projects is because we believe places like Scotia contribute to conservation. Do you believe your career contributes to conservation? Definitely. And how so? Definitely. Um, if you bring people here that know nothing about animals, um, you will teach them anything that, uh, that you see. Um, so it's about educating them. Um, it's about creating awareness, um, especially if we're looking at our rhino situation at the moment, uh, the, the problem with the rhino poaching in, in South Africa, um, educating people about that. And they will then spread the word to wherever, wherever they come from. Another question I've always asked, you know, Particularly with again with campus, we we're very involved in training and looking at people building up mm. these careers. What type of qualifications do you have to be to take on this position? Um, to be a, a ranger, you need your FAGASA, which is your field guiding um, diploma or certificate. Um, I did my honours in game and wildlife management, which basically covers your game ranger course, but then the extras as as from a, a game reserve point of view. Um, and I studied that at the University of Pretoria. And in terms of vocational training or practical experiences, are these really important for your type of career? Yeah. If you do your Field Guide Association um, certificate and diploma, you do a, a theory part, which you have to pass first, after which you then do a practical. Uh, it's, it's one thing to, to study everything and learn it like a parrot and be able to put it down on paper, but to go out and be able to analyse the situation, um, identify things, um, driving, it's, uh, it, all <laughs> it all comes with, with practice. Um, so there's a, a, some sense of assessment then, um, but you're never too old to learn, so you learn something new every day. And um, if you had a piece of advice you could give somebody aspiring to you know, follow in your footpath, what would that be? Be passionate about what you do. It's not about the money, it's, uh, it's about the animals, it's about the lifestyle, it's about, it's about being in, in Africa. And lastly, a misconception, are there any misconceptions about your job? Obviously people have a very romantic ideal of it. 
is it all that it's cracked up to be? No, <laughs> no, definitely not. It's uh, long hours, it's, it's getting wet, it's getting sweaty, it's getting bloody, um, but it, it, it's totally worth it at the end, totally. Cool. Well, there you have it. Game Ranger extraordinaire, Leandy Smith. Well done. Thank you. Pleasure.